Hey, what's going on, man? It's me, K. Kemp, man. I'm about to show y'all a little bit more about my life at Mom Duke's crib. We in the studio where it started, you know what I'm saying? Come get a little scoop on me. King Sloan. Hey, turn off. I was six years old, riding shotgun in the old school with my dad. I really don't talk to folks about my problems, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't my mama, I don't really speak on my problems like that. Skinny big head, what a rock. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the hard, even though my fam used to keep the grams in the socks. Damn. It was me, Lil' Brandon, and Nene. Outside running wild f TV. I'm 13th out of the way to 49th. Is that all you got? The table kind of cricket, though. Is the table cricket? That's going to be your yeah, definitely cricket. excuse for losing? You better just shoot your shot. Tell y'all about my mom. Crazy. Oh, we've been honest, huh? Yeah, that's what we're here for. Crazy, smart, intelligent, can't play pool. <laughs> Obviously. K. Camp was uh, mischievous at a real, real early age. He was about three years old, and one day he had on this T-shirt, and it had chocolate all on the front, and he's like, can I go outside and play? And um, I was like, change your shirt. And he came back, and he was like, Mommy, he was like, is this good? I was like, good boy. And then he went towards the door, and all the chocolate was on his back. <laughs> so he just turned it around. Look, I just tell it how it is. Everybody claim it real on the real deal. I ain't never been real. Growing up in a house with two women, it taught me how to treat women. My mom told me, keep your, keep your fingernails clean. You know what I'm saying? Clean, <laughs> clean your ears. You know, girls don't like that. He hey, hated man. it. But it made me who I am today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna change. Christopher grew up, he was the one that sung through the house. He never told me that he wanted to be a rapper. He just started rapping. He was, was rapping. He was rapping in high school. Had, had high school going crazy. We was called HBC back in the day. And, we was, and what was, did HBC stand for, Chris? Head bust a click. We was busting heads back in the day. You told me it stood for uh, the historical black nah, colleges. I probably was lying. Yeah, it was lying. It was head bust and click. And I went so low. I was on MySpace <laughs> at like 5 in the morning, every morning, not doing homework. Refreshing my page, trying to get my views up. Christopher came upstairs and he said, uh, Ma, I need a booth. Me and my partner Sadiq made the studio. It took us like, what, like four hours? I put the booth together. He put like four screws Man, in it. Out. And swear to him and his friend did it. I built that booth. My sister was not my fan. She was my biggest hater. Not supporting my campaign until I heard her playing one of my records. One day it was with the rich kids. And I was like, yeah, I made it now. I made it. She finally playing my music. It took like four years for her to play one of my songs. It did. It did. I don't really look at my brother as a rapper, as K Camp. I still look at him as Chris. Right now, I'm his assistant. So, you know, I'm still his sister, though. So, I still like to have fun, play with him, <laughs> mess with him. She keeps him show. grounded. Yeah. She keeps him so grounded. It is, it's definitely a family business. We did what we had to do, man. It was all three of us. We we, we held it down during the tough times, during the, the good times. You know what I'm saying? We, we stayed together as a family. That's, that's the most important thing. Family yeah. is everything to me. Family is. When you were growing up, I missed the laughs. I missed the fun. Every time you left heading to ATL, I felt undone. When I recorded Control, I had a lot of emotions built up. You know what I'm saying? I just had to get in the booth and let it out somehow. So I reached out to my dad, and we don't really got a good relationship like that, but I reached out to him and see if he can uh, do like a voice a voice memo for me. What he said on there was dope, you know what I'm saying? And, and I had to keep it on there because that record mean a lot. I can play that like 10, 20 years from now, and you know what I'm saying? It just still means something. So I needed something on my album that meant something, that had some value yeah. to it instead of like club records. To me, it felt like closure where he had some questions answered of why he wasn't around as much. I think we did that when Uncle was at home, 47 and Lord. Christopher, with him and just being in the industry and so many people shutting doors, I'm proud of him because he never quit, regardless of what was thrown at him. He didn't stop. And I'm proud of both of my children equally. One million so. I am proud of them both. Yeah. A million so. A million so. <laughs> Platinum. Speak for yourself. Oh. You live and you learn, them tables will turn, them bridges will burn, but through it all to make a way.